Little boys and girls, moms and dads, and my fellow coaches. This is Coach Jerry from Newark American Little League T-Ball Phillies. Today I'm going to talk about the T-Ball game itself. Uh, for one thing, if you didn't know it, we don't keep score in T-Ball. There's a, there's a couple reasons why. For one, you only play three innings, and by the third inning anyway, most of the children are getting antsy, so the game doesn't go very long. But the, the biggest reason we don't count score is because T-Ball is four, five, and six-year-old children. They're just learning the basics about baseball and T-Ball. So you don't need to be competitive, especially in T-Ball. They will get enough of that as they move up into the middle league, you know, and then the minors and the majors. But today we're going to talk about ways you can get it out. Okay, there's a few different ways you can get a player out. For one thing, they're going to start here. They will be hitting the ball. Okay. Once, once the, uh, here's the tee, okay, it'll be standing here, the ball, you see, it's set on the tee. So once the player hits the ball, there's different ways you can get the person out. So, you can follow me over here. If they hit the ball off the tee and it comes up in the air, you catch it in the air, there's one way right there to get them out. And once a player gets out, they have to go sit on the bench. They might not like that very much, but that's part of getting someone out, okay? That's their turn at bat. They'll get another turn later on. Okay, there's another way that you can get someone out. Okay, then this is first base. Okay, now if the ball is hit to one of your teammates and you're in the first baseman, remember you have to have a helmet. Okay, you have to have the helmet on. Of course, you will put your foot here. And if they throw the ball over to you and you catch it before that runner tags the base, then they're out there also. Okay, so then they'll have to go sit on the bench and wait for the next turn. Okay? Another way you can get a player out, okay? They hit the ball, say I'm playing here at second base, here's the base itself, and I'm playing at second, and they hit the ball on the ground to me, okay? I get the ball, and if there's someone on first, go over, step on the base, and then that player is out, okay? Or, another way, if the ball is hit to me, instead of step on the base, all you have to do is tag the runner. Make sure you tag the runner with the ball, okay? You don't want to just touch him with your glove because they're not going to be out. The ball's over here. So tag him with the ball in the glove or with your hand, okay? That's tag with the ball, okay? All right? So that's like, a, like three different ways you can get someone out, all right? Okay, you want to practice those things at home with your moms and dads. You know, you can do it in the backyard. You don't even have to use real bases like this. You can use a piece of cardboard for a base. All right, whatever you want, just use your imagination, okay? All right, great. That, that's about all for what we have for today, okay? So keep on practicing. Baseball rocks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.